Plaintiff Maurice Thomas was friends with the defendant, and he thinks he's God's gift to men. Maurice claims one time when they were at a club, the defendant's tires were slashed. And the next day, the defendant found out who did it, and he went to the man's job and assaulted him. Maurice is suing the defendant today for an unpaid loan. Defendant Deontay Hornaday says he met Maurice after he moved into the same apartment complex. Deontay claims one night he went to Maurice's apartment for drinks, and the next thing he knows, a stream of both male and female strippers came in and started dancing for them. Deontay insists Maurice never gave him a repayment deadline. Start with you. Uh, yes, sir. I um, met Mr. Hornaday um, through my roommate. Um, he stayed behind my complex. We all came together, stop coming to my house, hanging in my house, mm -hmm. or I go to his house, we hang. Just start getting good friends to each mm -hmm. other. And then uh, one day we, we went up to the club, you know, then I started finding out the true colors and stuff, you know. Why? What happened? Um, <laughs> well, we leave the club, all of us, and it was raining. And so we get back to his car because it was raining and then his two tires was flat. He was very upset. And I was trying to calm him down. Me and my roommate were trying to calm him down for the, for the longest. He wouldn't calm down for nothing. Plaintiff Maurice Thomas was friends with the defendant. And he claims the defendant once assaulted a man who slashed his tires. What did he think happened? Uh, <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> did he say it or not? No, I don't know. He's, he's won all that fussing and mad and angry. He never a, I said, I think such and such happened. He was a friend of his. All right. Like his, uh, he said, I think such and such Yes, did sir. It. One of his acquaintances. He went home to his house, and then next you know, in the morning time, he knocks on the door, and he said, um, I found her. I found that B. I said, who you found? He said, I found a person who flapped my ties. And so he found, he went up to their job. He went and beat him up. <laughs> to beat the boy up at his job and beat the boy up. I'm like, oh God, did you have to really do that? You know? Did so, he get arrested? I don't, I don't know. Oh, okay. No, I, no, he didn't get arrested. Not oh, do right. I know him. But anyhow. What else? Um, well, um, he's kind of stuck on himself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he's very stuck up on himself. You know, he's um Think he's a Give God. me some examples of Well, he think that. every man, I think every, oh, you think he God gifts to every man. How you know? You know? Well, of course, look at him. That's how he is. He ain't no gift to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna look at him. I'm gonna look at him. Look at him yeah. for what? Well, you know, he think he's God gift to men. You know, he just, every man he does, he likes him, you know? Right. Okay, that, that's fine, you know, whatever floats your boat, whatever, you know, okay. but, right. but um, anyway, um, he could be very... So you jealous? No, 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 no. You're not, not a jealous. gift to anybody? No, I'm just... I know I'm you're not. Myself. Go ahead. <laughs> I love myself, though. <laughs> I love myself. I'm messing with you, I man. love myself, Mr. You're Ed. all right with I me. You're a real, you sound like a real nice guy, I'll yes, say sir. that. And yes, that's sir. what's most important. Yes, sir. What's in here. Not this old stuck-up person over here. <laughs> think he's everything to everybody. I bet he's just as nasty and mean and... Um, <laughs> that's why he's getting his tires flattened. <laughs> you speak for yourself. I'm sorry. I don't even know you. I haven't heard two words from you, and I'm over here criticizing you. Go ahead, sir. You seem like a very nice young man. What do you want to tell me? So I met Mr. Thomas in April, <clears throat> the end of April. I had just moved into my apartment complex. One day he said, well, you know, you should come by for drinks. And I, I didn't really know anybody in the neighborhood. I said, okay, that's cool. So we go to his house for drinks. Uh, we're sitting there. We're listening to music, having a good time. And he said, you know, my friend's coming in and it was loud music playing. So the friends come in and it was like a stream of strippers. And I'm like, oh, uh, okay. True. So male or female? Both. Okay. That's so not true. um when I when I when he opened the door, he like, hey, so the girl come in, she true. like, yeah, let me say, let me say. <laughs> I'm like, yeah. I'm like what? what? I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> That's not true. I'm like, what's going on? So everybody just dancing, everybody shaking, they listening to little music, jumping around That's the house. And I'm true. like, okay. Was so it a special occasion or is this his regular I, routine? I guess it was a special occasion. I don't really know. So we know we we everybody said we all sitting there, you know, drinking and carrying on. So he said he said we should go out to the club. So I said, okay. So we went out to the club. It was this 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 uh, guy that was at the club. Uh, he would always come with this, the girl. I, I, me and the girl knew each other. We used to work together. He had a thing for me, and I was. I told him. I said, you know, I'm not really, you know, into you like that. So mm -hmm. you know, let it go. Got it. He's talking to her, upset at me because he like, oh, I, I guess I didn't I didn't get him no place. You're so too he, special, right? Too special. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll say that. So <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. So, so um, 
we get outside, it's pouring down rain, and we, you know, we we actually, we got in the car, we got ready to move the car, and it was like, rumba, 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 rumba. And I'm looking, I'm like, what the H is this? Like, you know, what's going on? Mm -hmm. So, I did find out who the person is, because I, I, I found out from some, some people in the club, and I addressed him on it, and he said to me, what are you gonna do about it? I said, you know, I have a lot to lose, because I, I sing, I model, I, I got a lot Ugh. of things going on. So I said, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna entertain all, so he walked up and he scratched my face, and that's why I dragged him across the parking Time lot. Time to fight. Plaintiff Maurice Thomas was friends with the defendant, and he claims the defendant once assaulted a man who slashed his tires. Go ahead. Yeah. What happened? You did what after so, that? You dragged when, him. When, yeah, drag. I, I put my I had to put my hands on him. I'm from Detroit. We don't we don't play that. You put your hands on somebody. That, it don't. It never don't, heard of such a thing. It don't work. Well, I'm my generation. How old were you when you moved from Detroit? Uh, I was 21. I was uh, back up. Where did you for, go uh, to high school? Uh, I went to Flint Hammity, and then I moved to Detroit. Flint is tough. Yes, it is. And you're a backup singer for whom when you left? Um, well, I, I did I did a few things for. Um, Donnie McClarklin, and I okay. did a couple of things for uh, Fred Hammond and uh, really? the Clark system when he was at Eastern Michigan University. All right. Yeah, yeah well, so. Donnie, he's a buddy, one of my favorite mm -hmm. male gospel artists. Fred and I went to school in the fourth and fifth grade, so mm. he has to be my favorite gospel artist. Right. <laughs> and, he, and he is because of his singing. And we did a stage production ourselves together. And Clark's sisters, Karen Clark, shared is the first lady at my church. Oh, yeah. In Detroit. Until I said hello. So, uh, none of them are violent, though. Yeah, no, they're not. They're saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost. <laughs> Why are you suing the defendant? Tell me what happened. Um, I, I let the, uh, the, the uh, defendant, I let him borrow $1,000 for he can, uh, he was uh, having eviction on his uh, rent. So I helped him, uh, I pay, I, so being a good friend, I let him borrow $1,000. My, my father had left me uh, inheritance of some money. And, but I was back in Huntsville, I was getting my mother a headstone because she had been waiting for 16 years to get it. Mm -hmm. So I finally got her one, so. Um, You're from Huntsville, yes. Alabama? Mm -hmm. right. Yes, I am. And, I uh, uh, have an association, we all have associations here. I have an association with the uh, Oakwood uh, University. Oakwood, oh, okay. And you know, they're Seventh-day Adventist okay. college and I was raised as a child. I did not know that. Seventh-day Adventist, so. Okay. Oakwood, Oakwood University yes, sir. in Huntsville, Alabama. They're going to say about Alabama a &M now because they kind of Alabama a &M, my daughter went there for a short time, so I know all of that. Okay. We all together. Then Alabama, Detroit, we're together. Somebody yes. has to lose, though, so tell me why he should lose. <laughs> tell me why he should lose. Okay, well... Um, when was he to repay this $1,000? Well, we had made an agreement. When I sent him the money on the 20th, he was going to start making a payment and next week on Thursday. And what has happened since that well, time? Well, when the day when it came to V to get the payment, he came over there with rage and got pissed off. And about what? He was like, well, I'm not going to pay you no money. And, you know, uh, I, I don't got no money. You made me wait for a long time, so I'm going to make you wait. I'm made like, I'm the one gave you, you the money. On what? May, May, you made I'm him wait on what? To loan him yes. your money. Right, right, exactly. He's not going to pay you on time. Because you didn't loan him your money. Right. This is a new turn. Yeah, right. You well, were late. Today. You were late loaning it to me. <laughs> you gave me that thousand dollars on Friday. Too slow. That was too <laughs> slow, so I don't owe you no more. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, y'all, he came over there today when he posted to make Man. the payment. But mm -hmm. on that Friday, he supposed to make that payment, but he came over there with grief and just fussing and cussing. So and I, like, came, I, did, I didn't say, I'm, I'm coming over to have a conversation with, with you. Me and, my witness, uh, me and my roommate was home when he came over. Oh. Let me hear and from your witness. Come on up. Come on State up, State your name. Hello, my name is Jim McLeod. Thanks, <laughs> Jesus. What do you want to tell me? Uh, <laughs> your Honor, he loaned him this money out the kindness of his heart. Mm -hmm. This was on the 20th of October. He money grammed it to him. The boy called... <laughs> what you say? What you call him, the boy? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. You, you know, <laughs> he uh. went ahead and sold him the money. <laughs> he loaned him the money um, through Westville MoneyGram. On the 27th, he came over to our, our residence. Mm -hmm. And then when he came over, he was a Rage. Well, I don't like these text messages you sending me. I said I was going to pay you, but I didn't say when I was going to start the repayment. Dion left the premises, and there was no money exchanged. Good. No violence. No, no, no violence. Mess that he gets no, involved the next day in. he followed Nobody's off. windows <laughs> broken. <laughs> All right. Plaintiff Maurice Thomas was friends with the defendant, and he claims the defendant once assaulted a man who slashed his tires. 
Now, with regard to the payment, what do you say, sir? Okay, so um, he offered to pay to to give me the thousand um, dollars, and I told him, I said, you know, that's, that's a nice thing somebody has ever done for me, and I said, you know, I'm good for it. Um, we never discussed when it, when it, when the payment is going to be made. Uh, when he sent the money, we still we still didn't discuss anything. Um, he well after maybe about two or three days after that, which would be the twenty second. He said to me, um, well, I don't, I don't care if you pay it back in uh, tens, twenties, or fifties. I know you're good for it, because I do everything for them. They, they need a ride. Um, they need money. Well, you don't they... do that anymore. Your tires are punched oh, out. Well, <laughs> well, no, actually, he, he, he bought I the know, tires for me, and I, and, I, and I, I paid him back the tires for it. I let him borrow. I, I am letting him the money to borrow the tires and got him a brand new battery, and he paid the money back. That's the reason why I let him borrow the $1,000. Got it. Because right. I'm good for it. I, anytime so what did, happened? I'm why aren't you paying? What's your defense so today? I, I, feel, I feel like I feel like I didn't, I'm, I'm not going to give him anything because at the end of the day, he he did he did <laughs> give. <laughs> right, you can't even get that out your mouth. <laughs> I'm making him laugh because I that's feel, funny I feel to you. Like, I feel like because at the end of the day, um, I've I've done so much for him. I've never asked him for for anything. I, yes, we we did talk after the fact, and I did say on December first I was going to pay you. Did he agree to that extension? Yes, he he he, he Sir, agreed to it. Did you agree that he mm -mm. could pay you December first? No. You, all these text messages I've just heard about. Any of them, um... I do not have any, any of my text messages. Right. I, always, I delete mine every Who night. Who was that? Yes. One of your witnesses said there was a lot of text messages exchanged. I got a couple text messages. And yeah. let's see if... And you say it was said approximately when? A week? Two yeah, weeks? about a week after. A yeah. week later, which would have been October 27th, mm -hmm. he would have told you <laughs> that you all could extend it to December 1st. And this is what he has given me. On October 27th, you tell him, only so-called friend is you, honey, because I have to wait more. <laughs> you helped me Why you gave me $1,000. You will get your money back. But how many times you come over and get liquor and weed? <laughs> and, and, and money. Girl, bye. <laughs> <laughs> you talking to him? I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> Just, mm -hmm. Just because I'm not messing with you anymore, just because I'm not kicking it with you anymore, don't mean you're not going to get your money back. Just FYI. So you I was just being, I was just being, sarca being sarcastic because that's, that's how he talked. It's always girl, honey, girl, honey, all the time. Anytime I talk to anybody. You don't so. have to explain all I'm just that saying. to me. You know. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, One thousand dollars is your judgment. I see no evidence as of October twenty seventh that he was extending it. In fact, you were telling him as of October twenty seventh he was going to get it very soon. Oh. Therefore, I'm going to grant your judgment. Judgment for the plaintiff. Thank Have you, a good day, gentlemen. Thank you, Judge Mathis. Hey, 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 hey. You gonna do that again? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we'll still be friends. Oh yeah, we still friends. Oh, come on, yeah, we still friends. <laughs> <laughs>